the crack that could change Africa forever. Long ago, the Earth's continents were not separated as they are today. Instead, they formed a supercontinent called Pangaea, surrounded by a vast ocean. Over millions of years, Pangaea broke apart due to the forces of plate tectonics, shaping the continents we recognize today. Scientists are witnessing another monumental shift, this time within the African continent. This phenomenon, called the East African Rift, gradually divides Africa into two separate landmasses. But what does this mean for the continent and the world? Could it be a warning of looming natural disasters? Or is this simply a natural process of Earth's evolution? Stay with us as we dive into the fascinating story of Africa's slow split and explore its potential global implications. The Rift in Kenya, a glimpse of Africa's transformation. In 2018, global attention turned to southwestern Kenya after the sudden appearance of a massive fissure in the Great Rift Valley. This fissure, stretching several kilometers, disrupted the Mai Mahu Narok Highway, a critical connection between Nairobi and Narok. The crack, which measures over 50 feet deep and 66 feet wide in some places, shocked residents and scientists alike. While heavy rains initially exposed the fissure, its underlying cause is far more complex and deeply rooted in geological activity. Geologists have linked this fissure to the East African Rift System, where tectonic plates beneath the continent slowly pull apart. This incident was a stark reminder of the dynamic processes shaping our planet and the continuous forces at work beneath our feet. While such phenomena are not new, their sudden visibility reminds us of Earth's ceaseless evolution, the Earth's dynamic lithosphere, and the East African Rift. To understand what is happening in Africa, we need to look beneath the surface of the Earth. The lithosphere, Earth's rigid outer shell, consists of tectonic plates that float atop the semi-fluid asinosphere below. These plates are constantly in motion due to forces such as mantle convection, gravity, and the Earth's rotation. In certain areas, these movements stretch and thin the lithosphere, creating zones of weakness called rifts. The East African Rift is one of the most active rifting zones in the world. Spanning over 4,000 miles, this rift stretches from the Gulf of Aden North to Mozambique South. It divides the African tectonic plate into the Nubian plate on the west and the Somali plate on the east. The East African Rift is especially significant because it is actively splitting the continent. Seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, and the creation of new faults mark this rifting process. Scientists believe the rift is in the early stages of forming a new ocean basin, much like the Red Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. The science of rifting, how continents evolve. So, how does this process of rifting work? It begins with extensional forces and stresses that pull the lithosphere apart. These forces cause the lithosphere to thin and stretch, eventually fracturing it. Over time, these fractures evolve into rift valleys. Rifting is often accompanied by volcanic activity as magma from the mantle rises to fill the gaps in the thinning crust. For instance, the Afar Triangle in Ethiopia, where three tectonic plates meet, is one of Earth's most volcanically active regions. This area's highlands and rift valleys serve as dramatic evidence of the forces at work. Geologists have identified a hot mantle plume, the African superplume, as a key driver of the East African Rift. This plume generates enormous heat and pressure, causing the lithosphere above it to rise, stretch, and eventually break apart. Interestingly, rifting is not unique to Africa. The South Atlantic Ocean formed millions of years ago when South America and Africa drifted apart. Similarly, the East African Rift could lead to the formation of a new ocean, separating Eastern Africa from the rest of the continent. Kenya's fissure, a symbol of the future. The fissure in Kenya is a microcosm of what is happening across the entire East African Rift. Although it appeared suddenly to the public, the forces behind it have been at work for millions of years. The crack is a visible representation of the continent's gradual split, reminding us that Earth's surface is far from static. 
Scientists estimate that the two land masses created by this rift, the Nubian Plate and the Somali Plate, are separated at a rate of 2.5 to 5 centimeters per year. While this may seem slow over tens of millions of years, it could result in eastern Africa breaking away to form a new landmass surrounded by a nascent ocean. What lies ahead for Africa and the world? The East African Rift is a slow process unfolding over geologic timescales, posing no immediate threat to human life. However, its effects are already evident in localized seismic activity and volcanic eruptions. These events can disrupt lives and infrastructure, particularly in regions like the Afar Triangle, which sits at the intersection of three tectonic plates. In the long term, this rifting could redefine Africa's geography. Imagine a world map where the Horn of Africa forms a separate landmass with its ocean. This transformation will take millions of years, but it underscores the dynamic nature of our planet. Why understanding the rift matters. Studying the East African Rift is about more than scientific curiosity. Understanding tectonic activity helps us anticipate natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. It also informs us about the evolution of our planet, shedding light on how continents and oceans have formed over time. Moreover, the Rift's unique geology offers valuable insights into natural resource formation, including geothermal energy, which could be harnessed to benefit communities in the region. The story of Africa's Great Rift is a powerful reminder of Earth's dynamic nature. While splitting Africa will take millions of years to complete, it serves as a testament to the forces that have shaped and continue to shape our planet. So, the next time you look at a map of Africa, remember that you are witnessing a snapshot. Beneath the surface, the continent is moving, slowly but surely evolving into a new form. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the East African Rift. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.